Hello, everyone. Welcome to NASAC YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your free Office 365 E5 subscription and 5 terabyte one drive email account with your own domain. Let's start it. Previously, we already applied two free EU.org domains 51 sec 1 and 51 sec that has been done in my previous video if you haven't seen that check this link and you will find it i already integrated my free eu.org domain with cloudflare cloudflare is managing those two domains one advantage using your own domain is you can get your own email service also there's tons of other vendor providing free email hosting services online. Zoho is the one I have been using that for a couple of years. Unfortunately, it doesn't support the email forwarding. It doesn't support it uh, Pop3 or any other client to connect into it until you upgrade to the business version. Yandex is Russian email service provider. It seems like a very promising on their features. I haven't tried it. Uh, I may make um, another video about the Yandex email service. But in today's video, I'm going to say we're going to use Office 365. This is the most popular email service provider from Microsoft. And uh, we can get it for free. And we're going to use our own domain and integrate it with Office 365. What you will need to do is you will need to go to Microsoft 365 developer program. You will need to join now, create your own account. Here is what you're going to get with this account. You will get Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription, which includes 25 user license. And most of Office 365 applications, SharePoint, OneDrive, Outlook, Teams, Planner, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, Office 365, ATP. One thing you need to know is this account is only for 90 days, but it can be automatically renewed if you actively using its API to do some development work. I can make another video to show you how to keep using your Office 365 automatically and keep your subscription active, you will get auto-renewed. But that will be in another video. Let's log in now here. I already created my own. So we're going to log in. Here is some of my files. Click those nine dot icon you may get admin portal here show all we haven't get our own domain yet let's go to act azure active directory Basically, we have Azure AD Premium P2 subscription. You can add user, add guest user, add group. Click Azure Active Directory. If you have multiple domains, you can create your own tenant here and then you can switch between each tenant. For each tenant, you can assign different domain with it. So we are keep using 51 sec list tenant. Since we have two of them, I'm going to keep using default. I create both. If you go down, you can see custom domain names here. 
by default, we have on Microsoft.com this domain, and with your 51 sec, it's your subdomain. That's by default, you're going to have it once you created your tenant. We're going to add our custom domain here. Our custom domain is 51seceu.org. We can add a domain in. So here is verify. You need to go to your DNS hosting service provider, add the TXT record with this as a destination. So we're going to do that. We go to 51sec.eu.org. We're going to add the TXT record. Username will be at, and that's MS information from Microsoft website. We add it in. It should take into effect immediately. Let's go to verify. It shows verified. We make primary. We have successfully added our domain, but the setup hasn't been done yet. We have to go back to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You go to Settings, go to Domains, as you can see, it's incomplete setup. We haven't finished our Microsoft 365 integration with our own domains yet. Click this three dot icon. We can choose continue setup. Now it's telling us how to connect into our domain. We already had the TXT record and verified it but we need to add more. We need to have our exchange and the exchange online protection. We need to add those three records in to make sure it's working. We're going to add our MS, MX record. What's the name will be 51 sec. Mail server going to be this. TTL will be one hour. Priority will be zero. We need to do our same name record. It will be host discover dot fifty one sec and the target will be auto discover dot outlook dot com save now we have a last one to do TST record couldn't see our MX record here. So let me add it, add it again.
so we finished to add those three records continue this the advanced option here I think we can leave it here we can enable Skype for business if you want to do that then you need to go to those two if you want to intune and the mobile device management you need another two sign in that code we are good for those two let's give it try now no still doesn't work let's wait a bit more time actually we can give it try using command line tools and that's L O K up and let's look up so we can set type equal mx and we can uh, query 51 sec 51 sec dot eu dot org actually we got the answer it's already been added let's try txt file let's try txt record set type equal txt and same thing this ready continue So after I waited um, one day to let Office 365 to check my DNS record, I found some problem. Right now I fixed the issue and you can see it's healthy. But previously you see the DNS health check wasn't working. I'm going to show you what I did. So those DNS records, three of them, you see the name, they put 51 sec here and also auto discovery 51.51 sec for C name. I have to change it. It's not supposed to using name 51 sec, it has to using at. And you don't need to add 51 sec here in the auto discovery C name. So I'm going to show you the C name. So you see, you just need to put auto discovery. Make sure you don't enable proxy status when you need to verify the healthy status. Make sure there's no proxy status. That's important, else the verification, the checking won't pass. For MS, MX record, you see right now it's put 51sec.eu.org. Ideally, you should put the at, but when you save it, it will automatically change it. Same thing on others as well. You need to put at here. Once you save it, it will change it to that. That's important. Once you did those three changes, your health DNS checking will pass. If not passing, then you won't be able to receive the email. That's what I had issue before. But luckily, I fixed this and also uh, if you want to check uh, the documentation about this part, you may want to see DNS basic on the standing DNS, how DNS working, documentation from uh, Microsoft to show you how to configure it. That's the DNS record page to show you how to add LAN. You can see the example always starting with add not specific as show in uh, configuration page 51 sec and using it's always at mx, MX record host name will be at it's not specific name here if you put a specific name here it won't work the health status check will fail that's it. That's the videos for today. Um, thank you for watching. If you like my video, give me a thumb up and subscribe it to get more updates.
Thank you.